Let's now take a look at what's been happening on social media. Well, over the last 24 hours, over the last week, of course, local news dominated by the elections as well as coalitions talk, coalition talks, rather, Julius Malerma and Tuli Madon Sala. Women's Month is also a big trend, but all of this has been overtaken in the last 24 hours by news from the Olympics, and it's dominating the conversation here in South Africa. Wade for Nikak is on everyone's minds this morning. Now, I'm in studio with the Managing Director of Roy Africa, Tonya Curie, who always comes and gives us the juice of the week. Hi, Tonya. Happy Wade Day. Happy Wade Day. <laughs> they should make it a public holiday today. I agree. I'm yeah. in. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I mean... Just tell us about the kind of reaction we've seen on social media too, what has happened. Uh, I think he surprised himself a little bit because he, he, went, he went into this race not as a favourite, running in the outside lane, not having been in, in his absolute best form up until that point, yes. but he, he looked like something carried him down that back straight because yes. he just kicked again. And he's, of course, attributing that to God, right? So, yeah, yeah there's some beautiful imagery on social media. There's a, if it doesn't bring a tear to your eye, you're made from steel, that's mm. for sure. And it's about time we got a boost to Olympics here in SA because we've been watching it on the charts, Evan, and it's been negligible. The yeah, because our favourites haven't really come through. You I know, think Chad so. Leclo, uh, you know, he talked a lot in the first week of the Olympics and he got smacked by. Michael Phelps, yes. uh, and, and I think... <laughs> Did you see he, that face? <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that, was a, that, was, that was probably the picture of the first week of it the was, Olympics. It you know? was, for and, sure. And then to start the second week the way we have, it's just been amazing with Wade's performance overnight and, and, and a couple of unexpected medals over the weekend and so forth. So uh, is our Olympics, uh, uh, in social media at least, are, are we back on track now, Olympics Well, wise? finally, I think we're going to see a big change in the social media charts this week, yeah. uh, given that Wade kicked off the charts uh, this morning, but um, over the past week or so, Eben, there's been hardly anything, yeah. like almost uh, just over 3% in social media. Yeah. News media was bigger, I think it was 13 yeah, or 14%, of but so, social media so precious Oscar little. Pistorius on Suicide Watch is bigger than the Olympics. Much bigger. Is it? Yes. But here's we, the other uh, interesting things. I mean, there's so many that were much bigger than the Olympics. Yeah. Um, if you have coalition a look, talks, the, public protector interviews. Quite right. Um, uh, public protector and coalition combined come to a good one fifth of the charts. I mean, that's big media. Yeah, from but that's because everybody was picking their own public protector on social media, weren't they? Were. They? they were. They were definitely. They were Thank God it wasn't like an idols thing. I'm so. <laughs> geez, I'm so. I felt so sorry for these guys because they've got totally got pumped in the public they did, and yeah. all the details from their lives were pulled out and oh, it was Hasn't horrific. the world changed though? It has. I mean, when an interview becomes a public platform, it's a completely different world we live in, right? It is a different world we live in, you know. To be a celebrity now, you've got to have a sex tape. So, <laughs> you know, things have deteriorated. What about that? Yep. <laughs> Isn't that the thing now? I, mean, I see sure. this kind of things on social media, all these links and stuff, it's like... Okay, Kim Kardashian is doing something again, and her sister's got something with it. So it's just the way it is now, you know. But let's be serious. <laughs> Julius Malema there in red, and bigger slice of the cake than, than my money. Is that yeah, because sure. he's the kingmaker? Um, oh, I think Malema, yes, there's reasons for that. The kingmaker story is definitely mm. at coalition ref references. But again, the EFF is very good on social media. Like yeah. the engagement rates are huge, their, their uh, production rates on social media are massive. So yeah. it goes without saying that the EFF are going to swamp any other political party in the chart. Oh. But look at that chart, though. Yeah. We've still got a huge election hangover. We Can do. You see that? Yeah, we do, we do, we do. It's like unfulfilled election in a way with all these hung municipalities. Right, right. We're still, so, yeah, so we're still, still counting still in the votes. dark yes. a little bit, you know. So, so <laughs> people right. are concerned locally. But what's happening inter internationally? Internationally, there's only one story. Like, we may have uh, not had an Olympic fever till this morning. This is... But this is the world. Oh, the world. She's the Olympics. <laughs> 78% oh, even. There's nothing else. I mean, not even, we tried. Not I even mean, the Donald. Not even, not even Donald, not even and Hillary. And Crooked Hillary, as you call it. <laughs> Crooked Hillary and the Donald. Not even comments about Obama starting ISIS could push the yeah. Olympics off the charts. Malia Obama is an interesting one. There was yes. a... 
There was a picture of her on social media smoking the old electric spinach. Was smoking that, the reefer, correct. <laughs> was, that, was that a genuine picture? It was a real picture. And, and, and you know, her friend took shots more than she did. Like, everybody oh. was like, hail, hail, Marnia. Well, well, but uh, the friend was taken to task for publishing that picture, for sharing that picture on social media. And oh. Yeah, it became a, a big story. It wasn't for very long. It got quashed. As you can see, there's only Olympics left on the chart. And isn't it nice to have something good to talk about for a change? It's what, smoking weed in public? <laughs> Tonya, come on. What a story. What a, what a Monday. Well, we all, we're feeling a little bit happy this Monday because South Africa finally won a gold medal. And in true South African fashion, we won it with the most incredible performance thus far at the Olympics. Absolutely. Isn't it wonderful? It's just, you Great know, start to the it's week. It's wonderful. Wow. And I love this guy. He's a humble guy. He took 10 family members to the Olympics. Wow, wow. I heard his mother on air this morning, and if you weren't choked up by that, yeah? like, you've you got a heart to steal. There's the, Gorgeous. that, the, you know, that bonus, that 500,000 rand bonus that's spent on tickets and accommodation for the family. Wow. Anyhow, Kenna Mahamati. Thank you, Tonya, by the way. Lovely so to have welcome. you with us as always. Tonya Kuri is the MD of uh, Roy Africa, and they give us all the wonderful tidbits that you see on the show. Anyhow, time for us now to wrap up the social media segment and go to Kendall, who's standing by with Jody, who I'm sure has a lot to say about Way Dreamer this morning.